amazing stuff please subscribe to my channel and remember i'm the best in the business i'm your favorite i'm currently eating my blueberries these are great antioxidants to uncouple my mitochondria so that i can live for the for for a thousand years because who doesn't want to live for a thousand years i purposely wore my nice jewelry because i'm on camera and i like to be on camera i'm a camera girl so let's talk about ketones body generates uh, energy through glucose and through ketones so uh, the process of ketosis is generating ketone bodies uh, which is done by free fatty acids entering the liver from circulation and the liver can convert free fatty acids into ketone bodies which are short chain fatty short chain fats that are water soluble uh, they are water soluble molecules that have the benefit in getting to the brain which free fatty acids can't because they're too big to get into the blood brain barrier um, technically, you can get into ketosis without. Um, technically, you can get into ketosis without without going on a keto diet, because most people think you can get into ketosis through only a keto diet, but that's actually false. Technically, you can get into ketosis when you go to sleep um, hungry, and you wake up with a little bit more of and it's kind of your 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 hungry. That's actually, um, I believe, ketosis and um, also going through a fast uh, stimulates ketosis as well. If you go to sleep for about eight hours, you fast for those eight hours, and then you, you fast for another um, about 14 hours of fasting of no eating, that is uh, also getting your body into ketosis. The reason I'm making this video is because most people don't have what's called metabolic flexibility. They don't have the ability to, their, their, their body, is, their, their metabolism is really kind of slow, and that's usually due to the um, the bad diet that they can that they have, and also the um, uh, the low amount of muscle tissue that they have on the, on the on the body. So one way to reverse that, to make your metabolism more efficient, to be more uh, metabolically uh, healthy or metabolically efficient, is to start eating better, stop eating the processed foods, and start eating uh, quality foods. Almost like you're adopting a Mediterranean style diet because Mediterranean style diet has a lot of melatonin in it, natural sources of melatonin, which will help to uh, again uncouple your mitochondria a bit deeper. You may be wondering, oh, well, gluco ketones are better than glucose. That, that, that's actually not necessarily true. Uh, ketones are actually the only ketones are actually the only fuel that can get past the blood-brain barrier besides glucose. So ketones are important are an important signaling molecule, and the ultimate goal is to to, to execute what's called mitochondrial uncoupling. Um, it's basically where your where your mitochondria divides, and mitochondria is actually a, an engulfed bacteria where it was bacteria, but it, it turned into an organ now and now in the cells. The reason why ketones um, are uh, ketones can have a lot of benefit is because ketones actually stimulate mitogenesis which means you'll have a lot more mitochondria and uh, in a cell generating more generating more ATP, which is a good thing. Mitochondria can actually live as long as possible, as long as it's not damaged. Um, but the problem is, is that most a lot of people are not metabolically flexible, and um, that's when these kind of problems come about. And on top of that, they're not metabolically flexible because they're eating processed foods that's damaging and killing the cells. If you didn't know, mitochondrium is actually an engulfed bacteria. They still carry a bacterial identity and they, they have their own DNA and they can divide at any time without cell division. And some, if you go into ketosis or you go on a keto diet, you'll and if you take a keto type ketosis test to see if you're in ketosis, if you can't get into ketosis uh, using a high fat, low carb type of diet, um, if that is the case, it's usually because you are not metabolically flexible. And like I mentioned earlier, you can get into ketosis without actually going on a keto diet. BMR, your BMR is based on metabolic rate. Your BMR actually goes up when you are on keto because you are uncoupling mitochondria, so you are burning more oxygen without producing ATP, which is a good thing. You're being more efficient. Um, so basically, the higher your BMR, the more efficient you are. Usually, the higher your BMR is, uh, the more muscle tissue you have. And the difference between glucose and ketones, and why you want to look into having. A, why you want to stimulate ketosis is because glucose actually does not uncouple mitochondria and again the goal is to uncouple mitochondria for longevity purposes um, <clears throat> so glucose does not uncouple mitochondria but going through ketosis do, ketones does 
uncoupled mitochondria. So this is what's the whole purpose of uncoupling mitochondria. Um, when the mitochondria is uncoupled, they don't produce as much free radicals, which is a good thing. Uh, you don't want to have too much free radicals, and that's where things like antioxidants come into place. So like blueberries are antioxidants. Uh, coffee has antioxidants, dark chocolate has antioxidants, although you want to be too careful with dark chocolate because certain dark chocolates ha are high in lead and cadmium. Um, so again, you want to just be careful with that. But um, antioxidants, the two powerful antioxidants in the mitochondrial of the cells is uh, glutathione and melatonin, which I'm going to dive in here in a little bit. One of the things that I learned is that the ketogenic, ketogenic diet actually came about to treat child epilepsy um, back in like the 70s, I believe. Uh, with, it was an 80% protein diet, 10% carb, and 10% fat. And then it eventually died off because the pharmaceutical companies came out with certain drugs that um, helped to deal with epilepsy. A couple other things that I found is that um, you can look into uh, getting goat and sheep dairy because 30% of the goat and sheep dairy are actually uh, MCT. MCT oil is uh, a really good oil that you can get from where your local grocery store or what have you. And the MCT oil, oil actually helps to put you in ketosis uh, without actually having to go into a high or low carb, high fat diet. So if you have insulin resistance or you're metabolically inflexible, you can take MCT or look into or taking MCT and generate ketones to begin uncoupling mitochondria. You can also get goat and che sheep cheese. Um, if you'll notice, you'll notice that in the Mediterranean diet, they have a lot of goat, goat and sheep cheese. So I, was, I came across a doctor and he, his dog had stage four cancer. Um, and he actually gave his dog about 42, 48 milligrams of melatonin a day. And the dog, the dog had trouble peeing. Um, she, I think it was a he couldn't pee. And the melatonin um, every day, eventually, the, actually, the cancer apparently uh, cured. It, it, was, it was gone. Um, and he thinks that it was due to the melatonin. So melatonin is a very powerful antioxidant in addition, in addition to glutathione. So you can actually get melatonin from Amazon. Um, melatonin also, you can do it topically, meaning you can put it on your head to help stimulate hair growth. Um, <clears throat> then you can also get it sublingually, meaning you put it under your tongue before you go before you sleep. You can also uh, mix melatonin with vitamin D3, take a vitamin D3 uh, supplement and melatonin and um, there's some somewhat promising uh, uh, results that it may stimulate hair growth and may promote a uh, healthier scalp. Also why you might want to sleep is because when you were sleeping you're actually repairing your mitochondria. This is why it's so important to sleep for a good amount of time. I don't really believe in the whole um, no sleep work just work 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 because you really need sleep it's going to show your lack of sleep in your face and your eyes and your skin and in your hair you're going to start to lose hair if you don't sleep properly so as far as going into ketosis going to long-term ketosis long-term ketosis actually may produce uh, insulin resistance because uh, eventually the your body is going to want to shift the protein production to stop making muscle protein and start making more mitochondrial protein different um, I know some people that they do ki keto diet for life and they do it it works for them just fine um, <clears throat> but that's one of the things that in the in, in in science and in research it's really hard to predict and say what works and what doesn't but mitochondria rely on two antioxidants melatonin and glutathione and you, and you can get melatonin over the counter and use that to help you sleep more but it also is a lot of promising research in helping to promote more healthier longer hair so if you're interested in growing your hair you can look into melatonin topically and oral ways to uncouple your mitochondria um, i'm just going to go ahead and list a couple of things from my notes the first one is mct oil oil which again you can get from your local grocery store another one another one is conjugated lino, linoleic linoleic acid which is found in red meat and dairy products i believe it's found in goat cheese as well this one is ashwagandha so if you watch my other videos you would know that i do ashwagandha tea i get the powder form and i actually just boil it and i drink that another way to uncouple your mitochondria is getting exposure to the cold eating your omega-3s um, taking in derivatives of red pepper components called capsaicin, which I made a Substack post about, writing about um, the power the power of red red chili peppers. Way to uncouple mitochondria to go through an autophagy, which is where we, where your cells eat its cells, and uh, go into intermittent fasting. So try to incorporate more fasting into your routine, uh, that will um, help you enter into autophagy. It takes about 14 hours uh, of fasting to enter into autophagy to uncover your mitochondria is polyphenols so the Mediterranean diet has a lot of polyphenols and a lot of melatonin 
So that's the video on uncoupling mitochondria and ketones. I hope that video will find you well. Hopefully that, was, hopefully that was useful. The main takeaway is to stop eating processed foods. Focus on eating foods that will help to um, uncouple your mitochondria, which is a good thing. You want to uncouple your mitochondria for longevity purposes and for prevent your cells from being damaged from oxidative stress and free radicals. So like the video if you like it and then check out more of my whatever else I got going on.